Today I'm reviewing the MaxTech uh, Max O2 Analyzer. As you can see, it comes in a uh, ABS plastic housing that's really rugged. You can also uh, attach a cord here if you want. Um, it has a little nipple to uh, uh, reduce the flow of uh, air into the unit so your sensor doesn't burn out as fast. Turn it on, you just press it right here. And to calibrate it, you hold this button till it says calibrate. Now it's calibrating. And it should hold its calibration for about uh, seven days. It, it includes a box and an instruction manual along with a clear plastic tube and a little nipple where you can attach the tube to the unit. You can also get a uh, BC hose adapter if you really want one of those. I don't. Um, let's try using the unit. This is filled with 50%. As you can see, it takes a while to um, uh, read. I, I guess that's just how this sensor is. It's a little annoying, but it does read accurately. So yeah, it does take a while to get a reading, but the reading is accurate. Um, the good thing about this is you can get one for between about $220 and $450. Uh, lowest price, I got it at Piranha for like $220, uh, which is pretty good. One thing you got to look out for when you buy an analyzer is the cost of the replacement O2 sensors. The retail on the sensor for this is $150, which is outrageous, but you can get a sensor from Piranha for 70 bucks. So figure every three, four years, you're gonna need a new sensor. So whenever you buy an analyzer, just make sure you know how much the replacement sensors are gonna cost. Uh, anyhow, this unit, it's okay. Uh, for the price I paid, it's good, but it's not the best unit out there, but it's a good budget unit. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the review.